I want to try to get y'all pencils out. Take this number down. If you want to join us, you call in 1909 318 7819. Again, that's 909 318 7819. And it'll get you into the conference. And you know what? I want so many people in that conference that we got to tell people, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody got something to say, you know? And that's how, it, it, with, with the six or seven of us that do it, we have to do that. And that's a good thing because everybody got something to say. And everybody's learning. And it's about fellowship. We fellowship with each other. You know, we, we bounce our, our own ideas off of each other. Because, you know, sometimes I might understand something that the other person doesn't, and vice versa. Amen? Amen. And that's what it's all about. What's the time? Oh, oh I'm sorry. The time is 10.15. 10.15 is when we start. Amen. It gives us plenty of time for discussion. It gives us plenty of time to read the lesson. And it gives us plenty of time to, to do whatever we need to do. Prayer and everything. Amen? Amen. So again, I'll, I'll say it again. 909. 318-7819. Please join us. Sunday morning. Amen. I want to start off by this one song. Uh, page 112. Sister Mother. Good to see you again. And I hope you feel better. And you feel better. Yes. Yes. Jesus provided the world. If you want guys want to follow along with me, I know you know this song. You probably know it anyway. It's uh, page 112. Jesus provided the world. And I'm going to start with the, the uh, refrain. We will walk in the light.
a day of Thanksgiving for each of us. We went through a lot of trials during the week, but we, the God brought us on through, and I thank him for that. And I just pray for each and every one, and I just thank the Lord for his goodness, his mercy. And I thank you for all my family here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a wonderful feeling when you pray, God will answer your prayer. Yes, he will. Amen. Anybody else?
guy, he went straight to Marcin and sat in her lap and just stared at her. But when it came to me, he walked around and was checking me out. <laughs> he wouldn't come to me right away, but he kept digging at me, you know, let me know he was there, you know. So it, it, it's just a blessing. You know, God is good. Yes, he is. And, and you don't know how your blessings will come to you. But we have the opportunity, and we, we called last night, she had a first overnight with them, and she's supposed to get them on the 23rd. And I asked her, would you come and worship with us? She said, by all means. That's the way. Right. So hopefully one day you'll be able to meet them too. Yeah. 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 Anybody else? Yeah. You were off yesterday and came on Sunday?
upstairs. And we're up here because we're here to have a hallelujah good time. So we don't need them to be able to hear them over us. We need to have our business going for God's business that we are in it because they're learning. They're in preparation to be able to receive the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And you who are here are saying, I already believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So it is no time but the present to say praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him above ye heavenly hosts. Let's sing together.
let us pray together. Eternal and everlasting God, our Creator, our Redeemer, our Sustainer. We come to you, O oh God, with thanksgiving in our hearts. We come to you, O oh God, in times when we feel confused, when we're hurt and broken. We come to you. There is no time in our lives that we cannot turn to you that we say thank you. We thank you that out of your great love for us, that you sent your only son, Jesus Christ, uh -huh. to become the sacrifice for our sins and to take away our sins. And we plead the blood of Jesus over our lives and for those who we call loved ones who do not know you as Savior. Uh -huh. We ask, oh God, if you would touch and take control of their lives. We ask, oh God, in this worship experience that we will recognize the blessings that you've already prepared for us. We trust you. We love you. Let your spirit be known in this house, we pray. Amen. Amen. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. And John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you. Mm -hmm. And are you come and why are you coming to me? But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it to be so now. For thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were open to yeah. him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove mm -hmm. and a lightning upon him. And it's the most holy word. From all the dwell.
This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbors as yourself. On these two commandments depends all the law and the prophets. Glory be to the Father.
serve you greater better. Mm -hmm. um, that is all of my announcements. I want to thank you for your faithfulness and your giving. Mm -hmm. Those who are give, who give a five on, on our online platform, and if you are here and you want to do that, if you just open the Glimplify app or go to that site, it will automatically come up as Greater Bethel because you are right here at location. Or you can look up Greater Bethel Cleveland if you're worshiping with us online. Also, those who give via the U.S. mail, I thank you for your faithfulness. And those here in person who give, we're going to give you an opportunity right now to exhibit that worship and giving. Um, we're going to ask that you use the side wall and just bring your offering to that basket as our Lord gives us the worship. He's listening. 
And there's other prayer requests. We're continuing we're praying for Sister Yvonne Willis, who was able to make it to church last week, despite her illness. There are others that are on our prayer list, and we want you to keep them in prayer. And so, as you hear the name, when it's time for altar call, we want you to come and pray with them. But right now, we're going to move to our children. Every week, we do this, take this five minutes, just to talk with them. After they've come up from their lesson from downstairs, we welcome you to have your children join us. They meet from 11.30 to 12, and then they come and reintegrate into the service for worship experience today. So we welcome you to bring your kids. We have room. And bring yourselves. We have room and we are worshiping in person. What did you learn? Um, that God is yeah. God is what? Yeah. God says what? Yeah. Oh. Says. God says or we say? Yeah. Says. Okay. And what about sin? God forgives those? All right, your turn, Amari. I can't hear you. Hitting our target. Thank you. Hitting our target. What is that target? You mentioned forgiveness. You mentioned respect. You couldn't remember this week, but we will next week. And you said God is. Our target, hitting our target. There are many times we miss the mark. We don't always listen to our parents, right? Mm -hmm. We're not always respectful like we're supposed to, right? That's a missed target. We don't always, we want others to forgive us, but we don't always forgive others, right? That's a missed target. But what God is saying is, I am here. I'm here to help you get back on target so that you can hit the target. Have anybody ever seen a bow and arrow? Have you seen a bow and arrow? Seen a bow and arrow? One of the coolest things when you see that person rev back, and Reverend Dawson one Sunday bought his archery bow to show us, and it's the coolest thing is when it hits right in the center, right? That's so cool that they made that bullseye target. They made it right, right in the center. But many times, we shoot our arrows. It doesn't hit even the, the circle. It goes all the way over here into the grass. Or it goes over there. Or it hits the top. Or it hits the bottom. The point is, the archer doesn't stop 
practicing, it doesn't stop going until they hit that target. And even when they hit it, they go again. So our lesson today that we started downstairs is hitting the target that God has for us. But no, sometimes we're going to miss. Well, get up. But we get, well, we get up. And we try again. Because we have God. God sent his son Jesus so that we would have a way to salvation, a way for forgiveness, a way to have a chance to respect. One of the things that was happening, there were so many laws because they were trying to get back in relationship with God. They couldn't meet all those targets. Every time they missed a the target, they'd just make a new law. What we're, but what happened when God loves us so much, he really wants us to make those targets. So he sent his son. So we have a way to ask for forgiveness. When we mess up and don't respect our parents, we can apologize and do it again and try again. And try and try to hit your target. So this week, I want you, every one of you this week, remember that you are striving to hit a target. That means you're going to strive all week to respect mom, right? Okay. You're going to try all week when somebody makes you upset to forgive them, right? Okay. And what happens if you miss the target? We're going to what? Do what? We're going to do. Do it. We're going to do it all over again and try again. All right. Y'all have a good one. If you miss the target, don't worry. Try again because it's a new mercy and a new day. Yeah. <laughs> 
be obedient of all the to God that I am standing here today. Amen. I want to also recognize the America, the mother, and my dear friend of the Holy Temple, Reverend Cecilia Williams. Also, my brother over here. Now, I'm all surrounded by the, all of these spirits. Say, you got it, though. Reverend Dawson, my brother in Christ. I want to thank him. My sister. Lord, my sister, I'm so glad to see you. Glad to feel it well. Mm -hmm. You're right. Now, let's not uh, forget our musician over here on the drums. And all of you, Amen. my brothers and sisters in Christ. And forgive me, Brother Adam, my dear brother. Amen. 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 Now that I got all of those in the dust and out of the way, I come in this morning with the word. As we honor the beginning of our epiphany and the baptism of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. As the season rolled into its fullness, it symbolized the beginning mm -hmm. of something new. Yes. Symbolizing a new spiritual uh, reality. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of things have been said this morning already. But the word that God <laughs> brought to me and gave me, I must be obedient to. Amen. 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 And I want y'all to just bear with me here for a little while. All right. All right. Amen. 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 And let God have his way. Yeah. I want you to turn to me to the book of Isaiah mm -hmm. this morning. Mm -hmm. Now, all of this, I believe, will tie in with what this happening at this present time in our lives. Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 through 20. It's a familiar passage. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It is. Amen. 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 And it does read, <coughs> forget the former things. All right. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Mm -hmm. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? Mm -hmm. In other words, do you not see it? All right. I have made a way in the desert mm -hmm. and springs in the wasteland. The wild animals honor me, the jackals and the owls, because I provided water in the desert mm -hmm. and streams in the wasteland mm -hmm. to give drink to my peoples, my chosen. Mm -hmm. Now, if I was to come up with a subject today, which was meant, it was unpacked. Mm -hmm. Now, if you would take a little trip with me back for two or three years, that I want to just point out a few things that has happened in this world and in our lives. We go back in the last past, let's say two to three years, even five. Many things happen in this period of time. Just go with me. We experience things in life that mankind thought that they would never ever live to see, mm -hmm. but was shocked to see. Mm -hmm. We experience, and, and let me go back and, and explain what I'm coming from here, because the life is a journey. Mm -hmm. We all travel a journey, but we all travel a different journey. Mm -hmm. But life itself is a journey. Yes. Mm -hmm. So for the last five or six years back, we've been on this journey, so to speak, mm -hmm. where we have seen so many things happen in this 
lifetime. We think back, I'm sure, of the things that we encountered on this trip. Things that happened. The world witnessed cruelty, hatred, and bitterness. We witnessed the death of George Foreman. Something that we thought we would never see live. We know that it has always happened. But we was God allowed it to be so the world would see. Amen. And there's so many more fought in with that category behind him. We have seen the massacre of the church. All these people killed for no reason. We've seen people walk up and down the street with automatic guns. Yes. Young boys and stuff is go to court and get a pat on the back and say it's all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. We've seen a nation practically come to its knees yes. when our own people, countrymen, mm -hmm. turn in and attack their own capital of law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell the story. Amen. And not only that, with all of these things happening and going on around us, we all had to deal with our own personal issues. Mm -hmm. yeah. We, the world, witnessed children being snatched from their parents' arms, mm -hmm. being separated, mm -hmm. some of them never to see each other again. Yes. These yes. are just things that have just happened in fast. Years. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've seen enough pain yes. and sorrow mm -hmm. these past few years. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's like Isaiah the prophet was saying to the people after they were coming out of captivity and they were trying to rebuild and renew their status. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So God came and talked to them and said, Forget those former things. Tell it. Now I know we can't just throw them away and all of that, but these are things that we have gathered and we sort of like place them in a little bucket over here. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. And we carry them. Uh -huh. Now we all, I can't say what you did with because I don't know, but I know all of us dealt with something yes. because of what has happened in the other this world. We dealt with an academic mm -hmm. that changed all our lives. Mm -hmm. We all had to go through a new way of living yeah. and thinking yeah. and surviving. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. We see a lot. Yeah. We dealt with the economy up and down so we can't hardly go to the store and buy food. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. We dealt with things in our personal family issues. Yeah. So, fathers and children and sons so. up against each other. Amen. We dealt with things and things that started apart all around us. Yes. Amen. On this journey, this is exactly what it is. Now, through all of this, through all of this, well, uh, with it all said and done, God was always right there. Mm -hmm. But now, He's saying, I am doing a new thing. That's right. Now, I know that might be hard for some of us to comprehend right now because of all the negative that we have dealt with. Yes. Understand? But this is God's word. He said, do you not perceive it? Mm. In other words, he's saying, take a closer look. Yes. Because with all of that that you have piled up in this basket over here, uh -huh. you understand? All right. yeah. Some of it right. you don't need yeah. to be carried on. Uh -huh. Some of it you need to leave behind. Yes. Yeah. All of these are things in the But God says, don't worry about that. That's right. I got that. Okay. Uh -huh. That's been said and done. Uh -huh. Because when it all said and done, okay, there is always a silver lining yes. after the storm. Amen. Yes, right. Amen. Yes, we witnessed a mm -hmm. tragedy with George Foreman, but a new era came about that. Mm -hmm. A new way of man thinking, a new way of law 
that was big, that was in force. That if it had not been for the devil and George Palmer, this world probably would have not said that we would be here to see that come about. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It's all bad tragedy, but there's always some good. There's good in everything. Now, now all we need to take a look at this basket we lug it around. <laughs> but we need to take a look inside and see exactly what we have to act in. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's sort of like spring cleaning. Mm -hmm. You go through your closet, don't you? Yes. And you pull out all the bad. You go to think you're not going to get you no more bad, whatever. Then you put some back. Mm -hmm. Because you're not just ready to be hard with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. So you go and you look at your basket. Mm -hmm. And all those things that now that are hindering you, mm -hmm. you need to empty it. Yes. Amen. Yes. All those things that are holding you back from your God, you need to cry. Oh, 
What it means to me, you too, today, yeah. is that I don't want you to dwell on the past. Well, yeah. Your past circumstances. Yeah. No matter what happened to you in the past, mm -hmm. I don't want you dwelling on that. Yeah. Because you see, that's already been taken care of. Amen. 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 Yeah. And there's nothing that you and I can do about that. Amen. So he's saying, forget about all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. If you want to move on in this life, if you want to make some kind of effort or progress, you've got to stop it off yeah. and move in the freedom of his love. Yeah. Move yeah. in the power of his glory. Yeah. Yeah. We have to walk, oh Lord, walk by faith and not by sight. But I know in my heart that God lives and that God is for real. I know in my heart yeah. that it is because yeah. of the Lord yeah. God yeah. Almighty yeah. that I am here today. Yeah. I know in my heart that God will make a way out of nowhere. Yeah. I know in my heart, in heart. that God is all power oh. in his hands. Oh. I know in my heart. It's not. 